To me, it's one of the best days of the year. Hey, Raj, what season is it? Baseball season. It's baseball season. Oh! Hey guys, happy opening day. It is the first day of baseball season. That is not an April Fool's joke. To me, it's one of the best days of the year. I love watching the opening pitch. When it's at work, sometimes a bunch of uh, me and my teacher friends will get together and we'll watch it down in the band room. We'll have Cracker Jacks and everything. But this year, it's happening on spring break. So I actually get to watch it at home with Becca and we have a few things planned for later on. But right now, I'm over here at her parents' house cooking lunch like I've been doing. But what I have today, I'm really excited about. And this is half of it because I have already eaten the other half. I forgot I was gonna do this. This is a Beyond Burger and that's a Beyond Brat. They're really great uh, veggie meat products. They're, they're, not, they're not meat, but you know, you know what I mean, meat substitutes. Obviously I've, I've got some cheese on there which is not uh, vegan but still counts as vegetarian. And I love these, they taste really good, especially the brats. I really like the spices in the brats. And the texture of the veggie burgers is really, really good. So I thought, oh, what a better day to have that, oh, and some crinkle fries than opening day. You know, hamburgers, hot dogs, baseball, and later on I'm gonna have some peanuts and Cracker Jack, of course. The Beyond stuff, you know, it costs a little bit more, but if you have high cholesterol like me, it is totally worth it. And it's a little bit healthier anyway, aside from having like no cholesterol. And they're really easy to cook. The instructions are easy. You cook them just like you would a hamburger or another brat and dress them up with whatever you want. And they're amazing. I love them. And as Becca and other people have said before, you can pay a little bit now for healthier food or you can pay a lot later for doctor bills. Might as well cut it off at the beginning, right? Avoid the doctor bills. So I wanted to share that meal with you and we'll be back later with some opening day goodness. Hey, ball. Hey, Raj, what season is it? Baseball season. It's baseball season. It's the most wonderful time of the year. The second batter. That's lame, they didn't even show the first pitch. Lame. Let's look online, see if we can find it online just to see it. I know it's not the same. No, it's not the same. Okay, guys, so we're watching the first baseball game of the season. We kind of have it on and thought we'd show you our decorations. I put up a few little things uh, just to surprise Roger when he got home from eating lunch at my parents' house. But then he was able to get many other things, and I thought he might want to explain <laughs> them to you because this living room is decked out, and Where I feel lonely. we start? I don't know. Oh, I'm it's... sorry I interrupted your lone ball. Forward. It's okay. I was just saying I feel lonely because I'm the only Orioles fan, but it's okay because I support the Braves because I love him. Yes. So. Not that anybody cares, but here we are with all the Braves stuff. All the Braves stuff. All the Braves stuff. We have our Hank Aaron uh, era jersey and hat. R.I.P. Hank, you're the greatest. Classic 90s Braves jersey and helmet. Becca had the helmet out and all the tomahawks that you, that you see. What? Dale Murphy, mm -hmm. we got Walter Banks, we got Chip Bear Jones. Chip Bear Jones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chip Bear Jones. Okay, got a couple hats and a tomahawk up there. Down here, we got some of my favorite stuff. My very first autograph, Paul Bird, former Braves pitcher, current Braves reporter. One of my favorite bobbleheads. Chipper Jones saving Freddie Freeman from the mm -hmm. snow in Atlanta a few years ago. <laughs> yeah. Chipper Jones. Tomahawk. Yeah. Chipper Jones. <gasps> Chipper Jones autograph baseball. Oh, yeah. Remember that time you met Chipper Jones? Yes. Of course I remember that time I met Chipper Jones. <laughs> okay. You know, the good Tomahawk. You can't buy these anymore. Nah. Not like that. You can't. Mm -mm. No way. And representing two of the goats. Mm -hmm. Hall of Fame pitcher Greg Maddox. Hall of Fame third baseman, the man, Chipper Jones. Larry Wayne. Larry Wayne. And there is most of my Braves collection. There are a few things in there I'm not going to get out, like some super sweet baseball cards, but yeah. we're decorated and ready for opening day. Oh, yeah, man. All right, so I just told Roger, oh, crap, i got to get my feeds ready because I need to hook up because we've just been doing stuff this morning and I haven't been able to yet. And uh, he said, no, 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 I'm going to go do that. You just sit there and look pretty. And I said, okay. 
So. Did you do a lady pose? I did do my lady pose. He is getting the work done right in there. Filling it up. We're going to put it in my backpack. And I'll get that good nutrition. And we'll explain the lady pose some other time. <laughs> <laughs> She's just gonna nap in before the Braves game. Yeah. Hey Lou, it's almost game time. Hey pretty. Oh, you're so pretty. Sorry I didn't wake you up. Very quickly want to say, I love baseball season because I love Roger and it makes him extremely happy. So, yeah. Really excited that it is opening day and that we're getting ready to watch the Braves. Just wanted to let you know that too. <laughs> so the first pitch of a new year about to be made. We are underway. And a high towering fly ball. Oh. <laughs> oh man. And so you're just saying the wind's blowing in mm -hmm. toward right field, so right handers are gonna have a hard time today. Alright, well maybe he got out of the system at least. <laughs> he caught the first nerds out. Oh. oh goodness, Luke. Jane, you always a good tug of war. That's not how this works. I think she's forgotten that she's already eaten. I think so. You've already eaten today. Mm, Again. Twice. Are you done? Little oh, girl, are you finished? You're still playing with daddy. Oh, we got a hit. Brave's got a hit! Who was it? Oh, wait, maybe not. No, maybe. it wasn't out. Okay, nope. We got an out! Oh, this game is not um, going ideally right now. Oh! Home run! I just listened to two podcasts that said, like, you know, he's not a power threat, but. He'll get you some hits. Sorry, I had to get your reaction. In case something happened, I had to get your reaction there. I was, I just, I thought something might happen, something exciting, I had and to get it. it did. Yeah, it did. Panda with the dinger. I've been waiting for something to happen all game to make him exclaim like that. So I'm so glad it did, and tie ball game. Lucy, you are not so subtle. All right, well... Game went into extra innings and it's over and that's all we're going to say about that today. I hate baseball. <laughs> Live to fight another day. Things will get better. I think the Braves were getting their first game jitters out. So onwards and upwards. But uh, Lucy for the past uh, hour or so has been incessantly begging and going out back did not work. Giving her water did not help, and playing with her football, as you saw, also did not help. So Roger's going to take her on a short um, W-A-L-K to the little field that we have just around the corner and back. And kind of exciting, actually, because she hasn't been able to go on one of those in almost a year because she's had some issues with her feet for the past year or so that we just were able to finally start getting under control a month or two ago so that's exciting and they're gonna do that i'm laying here on the couch as flat as i can be right now because my neck hurts and i've been just i've been out here for the whole game so i'm pretty exhausted fatigue is setting in facial nerve pain all of that goodness but like I told Roger, the number one goal today was that opening day and opening day festivities could go smoothly. And I think so far we can say that has pretty much happened. April 1st. Mm -hmm. And I'm zipping up my winter coat. Yep. Not an April Fool's joke. Well, they were going to go outside, but we're having a little trouble locating her leash. So searching around for that. Ah, never a dull moment. She is now even more antsy because she has her harness on and knows that she is going out. So we gotta find this leash. Well, in not so fun or funny news, we essentially turned this house upside down looking for this leash. Each of us looked in every room multiple times, under every bed, under every little shelf, in every cabinet. We cannot find it. We don't know if the spring cleaning that Roger's done lately and that I've tried to help with as much as I can. Uh, we don't know if that's, you know, maybe got lost in that. So he has to go to the store and get her a new one tonight because she is ready to go on this walk and we do not have another option. There is a chain out front, but that would be more of a pain to have to unhook and then it would hurt your hand trying to wrap around it. So 
Oh, he's at the store right now. He didn't tell me where he was going to go. I'm thinking maybe probably Walmart because it's fairly close and has has the leashes we know. And actually, you know what? PetSmart's right beside Walmart. So we'll see. But I'm still here on the couch recovering and then waiting for him to get home to take her O-U-T on a W-A-L-K. <laughs> you go, Daddy, just a minute, okay? Good girl. Good girl. And I'm coming back inside because it's really cold. Now, we just got this package in and it is one of the very few items of food I can actually tolerate orally. So our store stopped carrying it and I had to order it. So let's, let's get to uh, unboxing this here, shall we? All right, let's make sure it's the right thing in here. Caution, keep dry eyes away from children. Lucy, I'm sorry, you can't have dry eyes. This is the brand. Yep, blocks dry eyes. Oh, God, oh. Oh my goodness, look how frozen they are. Uh, yeah, and cracks. Sweet, oh. Uh, you know what, that's not cool, man. Yep, they're all cracked. No. I mean, thankfully I ripped them up when yeah, I eat them anyway. Yeah. It oh, looks weird. Looks yeah, it looks weird. Um, it's the new purple cauliflower flavor that they've got in. If you buy a certain amount of the regular ones, you get one of these free, but at first glance, it looked like it was a little off. But no, it's just purple cauliflower. I think it's yeah, purple carrot and cauliflower. We shall see. They are kind of cracked. That's kind of disappointing. I'm not sure I'm gonna spend money to reorder them again, but I do kind of rip them into pieces when I eat them anyway, so. But the company needs to know because some people might actually use them as tortillas and not rip them. Oh yeah. I'll take some pictures and, and, and DM the company because the smart thing to do is to DM and not air it publicly. Hashtag best online practices. <laughs> Let's start again. Let's try <laughs> this again. Uh, Stealing Fan was making some really annoying noise there. Anyway, we're getting ready to kind of close up for the evening, watch some sitcoms, and then head to bed. So we wanted to sign off, but I think it's been a pretty successful opening day overall. Game aside, the game Braves, result the Braves aside. lost. They did. But it was a really great opening day. Yes. All the pomp. Um, not so much the circumstance. No. The fact that we were able to be season. out here together, it was nice. You were and able to have your food and over. Cracker Jack. Mm -hmm. and, and the ballpark food that you all saw earlier, the at home ballpark. And you look Veggie super food. cute in your Orioles gear. Do you know, <laughs> no, even know how you. they did today? Um, I do not because it got postponed. I'm not sure if it's COVID or rain, uh, but yeah, it got postponed. Uh, it might be rain. I don't, the only Orioles. thing I heard that was COVID was the Nats game. Probably rain, but that was a fun day. I do want to say that uh, April 1st was my, my paternal grandfather, my mom's dad's birthday. And he would always wake her up in the morning and say, hey, Cindy, guess what? It's snowing. You don't have school today. And we get her every year. Okay. So you'd think I would know not to get, well, yeah, this morning I get a text from my mom that says, oh, I can't go through with my plans today because there's snow down here. What am I going to do? And I send her a text back and say, are you, are you kidding me? You finally got snow on April Fool's Day, like Pap always said to you. And then she said, April Fool's. So there's a little anecdote to end night. I said I wasn't going to tell the story, but I ended up telling it pretty concisely overall. For you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So happy April Fool's Day. I hope none of you got pranked too hard today. Hey, maybe maybe the Braves really won. Yeah, maybe it was April Fool's. That'd be awesome. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go we're, check. We're going to claim that. All right. Uh, we're going to watch our little show and laugh some. Our and little then, show. <laughs> no. We're going to turn on some Netflix, laugh some, and then sleep some, hopefully. We'll see you guys in the next one. Night. <laughs>